Hey traders, this is Ron. Hope you guys had a fantastic day today. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues shall always be addressed to your financial advisor. All right, SPY up almost 2% today. This is pretty impressive. Volume, my cursor all the way down here at the bottom, it's above average. And we opened and closed the highs of the day. Again, that's really good. I thought we might have a little resistance to the 50 day SMA and orange, that institutional moving average, not so much, closed above it, sort of cut right through it like a hot knife through butter. Now, if, if I zoom in here further, we get above that red line, that is the 20 day moving average, that is one month worth of data, that pushes the daily chart bullish and the target R would be the all time highs back on 726, the close was 302. We get above there, that re-energizes the bullish trend. And that's what I would want to see before I'd be willing to commit to a more bullish position based on the charts would be a new closing high. A lot of damage has been undone now with today's big, big move. So we also have a gap here. It's only a few pennies, but we also have a big gap here. This could be a reversal pattern. And that would be astonishing if this is all the sell-off was going to be. But for now, caution is definitely warranted. If you are a bear, you're put on notice, closing above the 50-day. You get above the 20-day, you've lost the edge, technically. So given that this was Monday, this was Friday, we closed there, we gapped down, two days of sideways action at the end of the day, and now today, we close back here. All the losses from this past week are gone. How does the traders, the bulls or the bears, want to go into the weekend? Are they going to push it higher again, which would be extraordinary, in my opinion? Or are they going to sell it off and say, hmm, we're a little timid to go into the weekend too long, too bullish, and we end up having a sell-off? Or is it going to be an inside day where it's basically a truce? And then you look back at this past week and say, what was that all about? We lost it and we got it back. Pretty amazing. So I think tomorrow's going to be very important. So I'll cover tomorrow in the weekend video. As it goes for the rest of the moving app, rest of the indexes that we're going to look at here in a moment, caution is warranted both ways. But after today, the goal's looking pretty good. Here are the diamonds, up 1.5%, not as much as the S&P. They did not get above their 50-day. So they need to get above the 50-day and the 20-day. If I had to pick one ETF to use at the broad market, it would be the S&P 500. It's 500 companies, not equally weighted, but still it's 500 companies. It's more of a broad base than just the Dow. So the Dow here looking, you know, looking okay, but it's just a bounce. So if you follow just the Dow, the chart's still bearish on the daily. How about the Qs? They were up over 2% best of the big three, they also cut through the 50-day SMA like a hot knife through butter, closing at highs of the day. They are now only 189.10 is the 20-day, 90 cents away or so, less than a buck away from getting above the 20-day. So let's see what happens there tomorrow. Take a look at the banks, ETF, XLF, up almost 2%, but again, still below their 50-day. So on the daily charts, banks are still bearish. And how about the semis? SMH, 2.5% gain. They actually were above their 50-day as of yesterday. Today, they added to it. They get another 20-day. This chart turns bullish. Target all-time highs from the 24th. So the SMH peaked a little sooner than the SPY. All right, let's take a look at a few individual stocks. How did Apple perform today? 2 plus percent. And look what they did. The stock closed at 203.43. The 20-day was 203. 0.35, 8 cents above the 20 day. Technically speaking, Apple's now bullish on the daily chart. That didn't last long. Apple seemed destined for the 200 day. So much for that idea for now. Take a look at Amazon, up 2.2%, almost the same as Apple. Look how it held the 200 day. One, two, three. That was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today we have a gap up. Target, you know, we still need to get above 1900. If that happens, then a gap filled in the all time highs. But Amazon held the 200-day. They pushed Apple higher today. Go back to Apple. And it's above 50-day. They often say how Apple goes, so goes the market. It's such a heavily invested in from an institutional standpoint. It's in almost everyone's hedge fund, it seems. So that bodes well for the bulls as well. And here is the Guggmeister up 2.58%. Really interesting. The 50-day in orange and the 200-day in purple, both institutional moving averages, coagulating there around 11 and a quarter, 1125. Never even got to it. All we did was gap up on earnings when the market was still hanging in there, sells off, essentially fills the gap, and now we just popped higher, filled the other gap, target right back up here, just under 1250. Now, how about Kraft Heinz? Why well, I'm a huge uh, 
fanatic about Heinz ketchup and french fries. This stock has just been taken out behind the old woodshed, losing another 8% today. They're going to have to redo earnings or whatever it is, miss earnings, blah, blah, blah. It's just more bad news. It just keeps getting worse. So Buffett certainly is taking it on the chin from back here with Berkshire Hathaway and then here again. Interesting, we were below, let me zoom in here. We took out the May low, but we didn't close there. This might be the end. I'm, not, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm not making a trade off of it, but from a technical perspective, the fact that we couldn't stay below there, maybe this is the bottom. Maybe 2750-ish is where buyers are gonna step in and, and hold the stop. Anything below today's open on a closing basis? What was today's open? 2673, anything below there? I'd want no part of this, but it did hold that low. And by the way, remember I brought in Kraft Heinz and I was telling you guys, hey, keep an eye on it, but we wanna take out these highs. We really wanna get above, you know, pretty much like 33 bucks. We never did not even on earnings, got close, could not pull it off. So just using simple technical analysis to get through all this digestion, all this overhead congestion, I should say, all that overhead supply just never happened. And now we get this move down today. How about Energizer? This could be an energizing type of trend. I just wanna highlight this for you. This is based like a U pattern, very, very powerful. If you go back over some of the stocks that you guys follow and look at this, big down day, big volume, sort of a doji light candle and then an explosion to the upside to get on nice volume. That usually means a bottom is in. No guarantees, right? Nothing is ever perfect. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance. That's important. But when you see these and you're a bear, you've been put on notice and then some. I would not want to be bearish on the stock anymore. And after this type of basically throwing the baby out in the bathwater and then boom, right back up. Whether or not it goes up here and break these highs, I have no idea. But as far as the downward momentum, it is gone. All right, how about M-E-L-I, Melly? How about this? Stock trades from around six something down to the fives when the market sells off, market bottoms, and right now we're back at new all-time highs. So Melly is leading the pack. This is an incredibly strong stock. And then we'll take a look at gold and silver really quickly. If I zoom in, bullish engulfing actually. Gold's still bullish here. It is a little overextended, but I would consider the red line, the 20-day EMA as a potential end of day trailing stop. Silver down a half percent, not bullish engulfing, still lagging, and gold miners, bullish engulfing. Very, very interesting. So again, red line, 20 day EMA as a potential trailing stop. Here would have been a stop out. There was bullish engulfing as a bullet could have gotten right back in. And then again, I use the red line, end of day trailing stop to consider. So that is it. Wish you guys all the best. And I'll be back with you in the weekend video. Be very curious to see how tomorrow trades. Take care.